Hello everyone, this is Fantastic Worlds, welcome you back to Lovecraft Country and the Priest DLC. Yes, we have reached this portion of our DLC run. We've already done the Dancer, and if I recall, I will put the link up there on the right to that run if you haven't seen it already. And now we're going to be doing this one. Next will be the Ghouls, which was unlocked at 450 subscribers. And we have good news. We, I have good news in that um, we just passed 500 subscribers, which is awesome. Thank you very much, guys. I mean, I even got a lovely little note from YouTube, which means I think I've officially gone from an X um, list uh, streamer to a W list streamer, which is awesome. Next step. V list. I'm gonna kind of arbitrarily set that at a thousand. Anyways, V for victory or V for vendetta it depends on what mood I'm at the moment. Anyways, I am rambling. Let's get on to the uh, episode. Yes, the priest DLC is um, kind of an underrated one in my um, opinion. It's kind of lore intensive, which means that you really have to hit the books. And we'll be using what I call the Evening Isle Express strategy for this, where we kind of ignore the lower tier. Um, expeditions and the bookstore to try to get straight to the heavy lore books as you can get really high up in lore fast if you're willing to if you can get to the expeditions quickly and this particular dlc starts you off about a cult and a cultist which is a definite boost in what you need to do now um i'm going to go more into the concept of a priest both in what the modern social sense and the more archaic um how do i put this the more archaic uh mystical sense but first let's actually get to the action shall we where are we? Oh, hang on. I forgot I have to restart this because I had to put that up for the priest thing. Definitely restart. Okay, there we go, because I wanted to get this part. The priest. I have been given charge of the spiritual health of a new parish, a charge we used to call the cure of souls, which, by the way, is where the word curate comes from. Also, curator, if you have a museum. Um, it's kind of interesting to see how much of our life is actually defined by the mystical in, um, impressions, you might say of previous languages like Latin. I mean, apocalypse is Greek, for crying out loud. Okay, so as before, we start with the work, um, a verb, as it were, as I like to call it, which I like to place over here. A little too far about there, then. Okay, the unique work card we get with the priest is an appointment to a quiet parish. As long as I do not draw the attention of the bishop, though dereliction or scandal, I can draw a living here. As you notice, it is also a job card, which is basically all it is. But we're going to kind of need that more later. In any case, one of the things to actually understand here is that we are in disgrace because we want to avoid the bishop's um, uh, attention. Because if he were to give it to... Uh, and that my primarily scenes we've kind of been shoved over to some remote point of the uh well if we're in britain so i guess for all we know it could be in a remote irish isle Ella, father ted in fact actually i'm going to name this character father ted a few of you may actually get the reference but it was a short-lived bbc comedy series which i absolutely love and if you can find it do so just get ready for some really crude humor um not sexually crude just vaudeville style crude in other words it goes for the goes for the low punch rather than the high punch anyways of course we have five funds which is a lot more than we usually stand for uh sorry going to have to remember to do the shift card for that sort of thing and we have a passion card which basically means that our guy is not heavily educated but he's really into his job but the thing is of course is that he wants us immediately to do the appointment to the quiet parish but i'm actually going to do the passion card first to do some random painting because that will get us a glimmering that will exhaust the passion but we can use when we have study card unlocks we then can use a second glimmering when the passion card remembers and get passion at the level two rather quickly so let's start there i used to paint boom i don't have anything to paint total and let us begin I'm gonna put it at normal for well, no heck i think i'm up for it we can go directly to the fast speed yes the nature of a priest by the way is usually one of inspiration if you're doing it legitimately but if you're just doing it like reading off the stuff and hoping to app the collection plate i suppose you could be a recent card <laughs> my cynicism towards religion is earned okay so what we got oh, there's the glimmering i want and of course we start making our usual as i like to say uh, how do I call this? Yeah, the my version of a user interface where I can actually just look at the deck and see or the board and see what's going on. Now that we've got that exhausted, we want to unlock the study card as quickly as possible. Earn a living or practice the invisible arts. We have ability and doctrine and fervor. As you notice that we need the fervor card for that, which is a unique one for this one as well. Doctrine is a lore, which basically means we stick a lore card in there. And ability, of course, is one of the three abilities to do this. So now, we did exhaust the passion card, which means that basically 
we're waiting on them um, need to unlock that which might have been counterproductive because if it does exhaust and get another glimmering here which is like a 10 percent chance it's good you know i'm just playing the odds let's go uh should take about 30 seconds then we'll pause it at this point the thing is because we didn't get a fund for this which is rare for the passion card we didn't activate the timer which consumes funds so this is me just trying to get ahead of that particular card because once we get a fund from doing the parish the clock starts and we start fighting that forever now we don't have the study cards there's no point in me getting the second glimmering here so we might as well advance to doing our passion conduct my first service all right let's get a closer look at this i have chosen as my text matthias 7 7. cannot tell you if that's an actual quote or not um ask and it shall be given suffer and you shall attain knock important and you shall be opened he shall be opened not the door will be opened keep that in mind i swear that i would not have chosen otherwise you i can see you're gonna have issues all right let's get this moving all right so and boom there we go now as you can see, a bunch of things just happened. The study card are locked immediately. The hinge in my words. I've begun to unpack my books. All right, so basically we're moving in. We decide we're gonna start studying. So the dream here, put the timer down here per usual, which is gonna be eating our funds for the rest of our uh, existence as a virtual being. And let's see what we've unlocked. The sermon went well, though the echoes in this place are seductive. And I was drawn to extemporize, basically to daydream. I do not remember all I said, but all was well received. When I descended from the pulpit, I tore my sleeve upon a nail and a woman in the front row gasped. Now, one of the reasons about that is that knock lore, which is going to be the biggest thing on this. You notice the color, by the way. All of these things are color coded. Knock is violet, so any card, including the parish, is related to knock. Now, knock is about wounds and opening. The tearing of our robe opened the robe in their point of view. So what we now have is we now realize that knock is important to these people. Now. We've also got a fund that's just for the collection plate and our reason card. That's going to go here. Now, passion's exhausted again. Oh, I don't know if I'm actually going to pull this off. Sometimes I get this if I do it just right. Sometimes I don't. If I don't do it, it's fine. Okay, now, reason card, of course, we could go into work, but I just want to get these clear first. All right. Boom. All right, so we've got this one. Here is a known my own journals. A sheaf of paper slips from behind the covers and drifts towards the floor. It is something I copied and long tried to forget. Locksmith's secret. Type 2 knock lore. I told you knock was going to be important here. All right, one of the big advantages of knock, by the way, is it is extremely easy to upgrade. Um, you can combine it with any type of lore, not just the correct type of lore. Now, we also will be able to access the mansus. Uh, I have performed pretty easily because knock like light, we can activate all levels except the third one. I have performed my devotions as I was taught. I have set aside histories I would not have read. I would no longer speak of either the knot nor unconquered sun. Now, this is important, by the way, for the simple fact that this indicates that he is already a part of a secret organization. The knot and the unconquered sun are two different secret factions within the church, the knot being that one of the divine feminine and the unconquered sun being that of the divine uh, masculine. The Unconquered Sun is, of course, the dominant one here because it's the Anglican Church in this universe, and that's pretty patriarchal. Granted, I think they introduced um, female um, ministers. Use ministers, I think. Female ministers at some point more reasonable than most other churches, but they're still pretty good. I mean, King Harry only created the Anglicans as an alternate um, version of the Catholic Church so he could get divorced, which the Catholics would let him do at the time, so he could cut off the head of his old wife. Yeah, history's fucked. But still, in my dreams, St. Agnes comes to me now and then, and now is tonight. Becker's secretary, all clear on all that. So what happens is he's been sent here out of disgrace because he's been studying secret histories and lore. And St. Agnes, by the way, it's always really kind of fun. During the intro to this, if you start it from a completed game, it says, St. Agnes appears in my dreams and many times, but I do not speak of the form she takes. Now, this is an idea in a lot of religion that the saints that are or minor deities in previous cases are deities from conquered um, territories and tribes and cultures that are absorbed in so they can absorb in a um well shall we say vassal state capacity so they can absorb that culture and say well you've always been part of us you just didn't understand i mean saint bridget for example is of course the goddess bridget from the celtic lore in an attempt to bring in the, the irish well the irish are mostly catholic so i guess it worked i don't know depends on how you look at it 
Um, Sleep of the Jostle, oh, there's an idea. Okay, so the question is, now notice this card doesn't get exhausted, and I can just simply dump a reason in here. I'll prepare my sermon with care, and I can just, you know, get some more money, because I need money. I've only got, I've still got my five funds from this top, but, you know, this game, capitalism will kill you every time. Okay, study glimmering. Yeah, we're not going to make with that glimmering. Unfortunate. Uh, did, oops, yeah, we're still in fast forward. The beginning of the game, of course, goes a bit slow. Now, of course, that two point of knock lore is what we started with. All right, a couple of things. One, we just blew some cash there. St. Agnes walks in smoke, crushing violets beneath her male pair of feet. St. Agnes carries keys and a bright knife and a sharp candle in the last of her slender hands, her own martyred head. Yeah, the Catholics aren't big on people who uh, do, uh, you know, occult lore and such. Um, oops, Oof, here we go. Sorry, because we didn't lose it, though. St. Agnes lifts her face above my shoulder to kiss my forehead. Now remember, this is a severed head, people. That she's literally picking up and shoving it in this guy's face. And I open to her like a door. Knock. When I wake, my heart is racing, my skin is prinkling, and my limbs jitter. I have begun to leak. Bleed. Technically, that's what bleeding is. You're leaking blood. Okay, so walks and smoke. St. Agnes, by the way, is an alternate form of, I believe, Hydra. The um, Mother Hydra. Anyways, the dragon that is the um, goddess of the Nock concept, or at least the primary goddess, They're, they overlap. But in any case, yes, St. Agnes is probably a disciple of that individual. And considering that she has her severed head, we've got to remember that every door is a wound and she herself has made herself into a living door. The la bringing dreams, there we go, health, bringing dreams to, well, individuals like us. Now, a couple of things. We are not going to get that glimmering off because the passion just came in. So we're just going to go into Dream, Moonlit Road, drop in the knock once. Like I said, eat the serpent's way. The locksmiths often have Dream after the soul of the foot is wounded, especially if it's been snake bitten. I could try that. Apparently, we got a snake around here that we can use, which is, you know, kind of cool. I love how they put the moon here for the Moonlit Road. Hit it. Let's go. Now, I'm also going to study health because, my God, we need going to need health. This may be kind of strange, but after, you know, the health obsessive uh, dancer run we've done. But we honestly need a lot of health in this one. More so than you might expect. Now, e exultation. Sometimes my words and my those I have borrowed move my congregation beyond more concentration and less exhalation. Now, it's asking me to put a society. To recruit believers, I must believe something. Now, one of the easiest one to do would be to drop the, the lore, <laughs> which I'm currently using in here. So I've decided between, you know... Ah, but notice it's not glowing. Not glowing at all. It's not the one that we want to use. So we'll have to find out what it is later. In any case, we've also got funds, and we apparently bored ourselves. All right. Don't have anything to stick in there at the moment, since we have none of the uh, uh, funds. Oh, we're going to have to continue. Now, one of the things about this particular run is that you can get cash relatively easy. Now, it's primarily because what I will use is called the... Where did that one go? I guess we got two funds. Oh great, we got we got more cash. I can deal with that. Um, one of the things we can, that's actually an aspect of the um, as I like to call it, the Evening Isle Express, which we're going to access as soon as we get the bloody thing up. Give me a reason. Give me something. All right, boom. All right, get our vitality up. Now instead, I could use this plus the. Uh, that this you can you can actually use health for a sermon which I thought was actually I just got to see what it says it's gonna be funny <laughs> hint via threshold Saint Agnes has drawn me here where I might fulfill my potential not merely to open doors but to myself become a door a lore of at least tenth level and fervor will begin the process of creating a lock scar that is our primary purpose here serpent's way I limp along the road and so that I see a serpent in the ditch I followed across the waste places and into the root maze. In other words, the Hydra has sent the Mother Hydra has sent the um, serpent messenger to bring us. Is it hair that brushes to my face or hanging moss? I bend low. Is it a goddess or a garden? I bend low to stay close to the earth like my guide. I will not forget the way of this place. Boom. The way of the wood. Buzzing in the brain. Uh, does that dissolve? Yeah, this might dissolve into an issue. So, yeah, we need to really start increasing our... Uh, numbers here. We still only have the original cards, and that can be an issue, as I've explained earlier. It's easy to lose a card if you're not careful. Um, we'll get back to this in a moment. All right. Boom. All right. Now, what we can do here, we can do this, and if you recall, 
Yep, we can use, we can have conduct a service and speak of the locksmith dream. Now this is us discussing occult lore in detail in public, so you can guess where this how this could go wrong. But I will speak again of what Matthias said about doors. But I will speak of Saint Agnes too, and what has come at night when when it has shaped a key. In other words, boom, serpent. All right, hit it. Let's see what we got. Uh, yeah, I need to get that passion back desperately. Oh, hum. Yes, well, let's see if this one breaks down to a bit. Yeah, one of the things about priesthood is kind of interesting if you have both a social structure and a religious structure. In the social structure concept, let's get our second health going because health is one of the worst ones. Restlessness is up and running. I have to paint that thing away. We can hopefully get a glimmering out of it and work towards getting the next passion card up. And we're going to get another one soon, apparently. Great, Russell is already stacking up on us. Uh, the beginning is where you can get killed. I don't really want to start this episode over again. All right, you'll notice, by the way, we now have our travel one. And exaltation. What are you looking for? Because I don't seem to have it. It's not health. Not passion. All right, so, yeah. Some of them have had this dream, too. Okay, I see it in their faces. It's this church. The doors here are not the only doors we see. Even the vows of the heart are a door when the limbs are properly aligned. I never said that in my sermon, but their hearts respond nevertheless to the truth. Lock in the secret, pat, reason dimmed, white perish, and fervor. Our congregation passion are strong, if not deep. Keep your congregation satisfied. Fervor, if unused, will decay. All right, so we got a couple of ideas here. One, fervor has a timer of 180 seconds. So what I'm going to have to do is I've just in the time to use passion to get rid of restlessness so we don't start accumulating even more dread then roll back and get fervor with passion key and fervor i mean passion uh locksmith secret and fervor which is basically us trying to uh seriously there's nothing here i can put this in <laughs> we'll get to it eventually yeah i'm gonna have to upgrade my passion fast in this one in the meantime like i said we're going to paint away our restlessness so we don't go start going uh this into despair immediately because that kind of sucks let me let me get this a little closer we're only using half the board at the moment. Okay, so hit it. Yeah, priests and the social levels mostly how mo is how we see them. We see them. Is that an influence? It is two aspect influence of heart. Hmm. Might be able to use that for other purposes too. Anyways, again, getting haunted by the heart as it were. Okay, so where are we? Boom. Okay, so we're getting back our health. We'll have the location one certainly, which is good. Boom. All right, two. Again, additional funds and not much else. Oh, restlessness, even more restlessness. This is great. Okay, Heterox Church. The church has another patron saint now. Perhaps another bishop wished to erase the stones and seen, but the stones remember. Here is one mark of the ray sun. Here beneath the font, a knot. And here in the window behind the altar, visible dawn, frame like flowers, the seven keys. Remember that number of seven. Okay, so we now have the Heterodox Church. If you notice, it's the same card, by the way, as you uh, use when you break into the another church, the Saint. We'll get to it one eventually because I got to use it. But yeah, on the Sunday morning, there are quirks in the orders of service most outsiders don't notice. Outsiders are not invited to the ceremonies who hold at chillier hours. I mean, it's our midnight ones. It's a sanctuary. It's not for contemplation and peace. The headquarters, which, by the way, means we can pass any passion. I mean, sorry, glimmering required a... Uh, uh, test when we're combining lore. Not as good as the library, and I may switch it out at some point, but location and headquarters for conversation. Now, we start off with a headquarters because, you know, we have a church. It may not be for the same purposes we use it, really, but it'll do for now. We have other things to concern ourselves with. Okay, so let's go take a walk. You know, Eric do well. All right. Uh, I don't know if I want a hireling. Seriously, experienced swindler, I could use you in about 10 minutes. You, right now, no. Uh, sigh. But they're supposed to represent, priests are supposed to represent a, there we go, boom, level one strength, up and running, good. Now, we're gonna have to work on the other stuff too. First things first, probably should study something. We're going to have to paint again, but we don't have any glimmering. Oh, this is going to suck. Should I should have got that um, passion up and going quicker. All right, so glimmering again. Transmuted that, but we're not going to have the ability to transmute that. 
cannot paint either, so we're just going to suck the dread, aren't we? Hopefully. And there's the dread trap. We are messed up at this point. Hopefully this is not going to be a really bad run. In the meantime, we might as well get this ready, because once that pops, it'll go in here, and then I will need to be drunk as hell. So yeah, apparently I moved into my new parish, and I'm an alcoholic. Well, you know, that's typical for some priests. So, whew, in the meantime, we can have our... Try to use this up, the fervor. Prepare freaks, carefully prepare a sermon for a fervent conversation. Congregation. Okay. This is where it's going to be kind of fun. We've got him whipped up with the fervor card. We're going to talk about mystical lore. We're going to use our brains and we're going to talk openly about the Alcraftian lore in an Angelic church as a regular service. I don't know about you, but uh, this could be a very short career for this man. The congregation whispers as it waits, and the echoes are like wings in a high place, like tree branches in the wind. The deacon and his sacristan watch me as I take my place. There is something in their eyes I didn't quite expect it. Is it pride? I uh, wonder what's going on here, huh? Alright, so... Let's keep that up. Always use more vitality. Okay, dread trap blows. Which means that we're going to be using the, um... The, um... Satisfaction card. Why am I calling it that? Contentment. What is wrong with you? Apparently, I, <laughs> I took a month off and I'm already like getting sloppy. Anyways, we cannot act. Yeah, we need the passion. Then need to get you know, upgrade that passion. Absolutely next. Okay. So, no. Now we're fatigued. Ugh, God. Well, we can take a nap since we're not using the dream card for much in the beginning here. All right, just take a nap. Why we're doing a sermon? This is a bad sign about our. our this up and the cops always looking all right so this could be bad my heart is at the crossroads of blood my blood my cart is the crossroads of my blood kind of poetic my tongue is a sharpened flame which by the way is also the symbol of jesus as he returns from the apocalypse as a destroying also sword will work too there basically it's an instrument of destruction and sal not salvation i see shapes in the stained glass that are not always there a gray mare a sundered tree a twin serpent gray mare symbol of the earth sundered tree that's an aztec symbol for the destruction of the uh, of the fallen state of the world when the divine feminine and the masculine were separated a twin serpent yeah dna uh the spot the uh dual spiral of destruction and creation that shows up virtually in every primordial religion when I finish, the congregation is on their feet, stamping and hooting, and their eyes are out, the mouths are doors. God, you're obsessed with doors. Sacristan takes my hand in his withered own before the whole church. There are tears in his eyes. We've been waiting so long. Yes, this is the dark secret of the uh, priest run, by the way, which is absolutely lovely. This is a Lovecraftian cult. The parish is literally a Lovecraftian cult, and not just any Lovecraftian cult. We're going to get into that in a moment. Okay, so we've got everything back. Got some cash too. Apparently the pass. Pressure and exercise. We've waited so long. For what? I wonder sometimes. Uh, but we didn't quite get what I was expecting there. Except, of course, a welcome. A deacon and the sacristan have come to speak to me on a private matter. They brought a guest. Someone I've never met, but someone who now drops to one knee to honor me. All three now do me honor. Yep, we have been accepted as their lord and messiah of the cult. So, yeah. Now, why would they be so desperate to have a cult leader? And this is the opposite, by the way, of most runs you're going to do with Cult Simulator, is that you, instead of us looking for a cult, the cult literally is looking for us. And why are the new leaders positioned? Well, we'll find out in just a moment. All right, first of all, also, we should probably consider getting... Oof, vitality. Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll do this to grab some more cash. Get some strength up level, but we definitely need to do that. See if we can combine it with the glimmering to finally get that second passion we so desperately need. All right. In the meantime, let's see what our um, worship um, is going to be. Help us back, which is always good. Uh, boom. Oh, I did take a walk because I need to get the other locations, like the bookstore, up and running at this point. Uh, because we're going to need a lot of lore. Okay, so, and... Boom. Let's see what they have to say to us. Rede re re rededication. The sacrosanct is weeping again. God, this guy is just a weeper. Uh, we've waited for you. Spiral Dancer taught us that the dance that does not end. Ah, do you remember the previous run? Spiral Dancer is the name that I selected for the character of the, of the uh, dancer run. The she ascended. 
descended, however you want to look at it, at the end of the last game. But what happened to her cult? Apparently, they decided that they were going to go undercover as a Angel Kitchen Anglican um, congregation on the edge, on some remote isle in Ireland. And then wait, wait for the gods to send them their new messiah. Yes, these is the remnants of the cult we did the last run, which I find absolutely hilarious because it was this will change depending on whatever game you did previously. Uh, so, and we have used those to prepare the way. You are our light. You are our threshold. We need you. Lead us. Yes, they have decided that we are their new emissary to God and we have Rose to tell us. Because Rose, by the way, is the last character I recruited, but we also have the Temple and Season. We start with the cult already intact, which is, the remember, the Heart cult. Now, with the interesting thing about this is you're going to notice one thing here. As I said, boom. Uncertain. The organization has begun to question its tenets. I could apply pressure to alter its direction. We have the ability to once alter this card by, by um, studying studying or talking to with a different lore, and that will change the what we're doing. Now, the thing about this is that we can only do it once, but we don't want to do it right away because we can get two sets of Exalted here. In other words, the level 10 companions, two of them. And if you remember how useful the level 10 compa um, companions of cultists were, is that they could just kill our reputation cards as fast as they came out. I want them before I'm going to switch over because then I can get a second set of Exalted. Which set I'm going to get into, I'll get into later when we actually get to that point. But yeah, as you can see, the Priest Run, if you set it up properly, can be lovely. Now that we have Rose, by the way, and let's take a look at her. Boom. Uh, she's, at her, she's at her lowest level of initiation because what happened is the Spiral Dancer was literally the energy of the, the source of their energy. She was channeling divine power and giving it to her cultists. Her cultists are not um, directly connected to the, to the uh, Mansus. Which is why when Daryl Dancer left, they started decreasing in power to the point where they have one person, Rose, who worshiping us. You remember Rose was the first one last time, I think, or was that her brother? Sometimes I get mixed up. And now we've she's been sent as our bodyguard and our watcher. Now, if you also notice the cops, we were sniffing around, but since we haven't actually done anything illegal, we're just of sound mind about all that. And here's where things get interesting. Now. What we can do here at this point, assuming we can get this passion card up and running, is that we can send out Rose to be looking for things rather than using up her own health, which is the first, which is going to be one of the first things I do. We also can start initiating people. Now, we don't actually have any heart lore, but if you recall from the other runs, you can initiate using um, influences. Every contentment is to heart, which means that I can in fact initiate anyone using my contentment, or for that matter, vitality will do it, because I'll only use one heart for the initial of in that. Now, we'll need greater amounts of lore or tools to be able to do it better, but we'll get to that point eventually. But right now, let's just deal with our cult. Now, the thing is, is that we hopefully are getting the bookstore here, because we're going to have to start buying books just so I can start upgrade that lore, but eventually we need to get into the manses to get secret histories, because if you're doing the Evening Isle Express, you need to get secret lore as quickly as possible. The easiest way to do that, of course, is through the manses. Now, deep breath. <sighs> Okay, I'm with it right now. Anyways, so now at this point, notice that our cash has pretty much been can't mean saying okay, but we're not going to be able to do that a lot with the amount that we're going to be needing to spend. So we need to move forward in this. So yeah, moment. There we go. I think we've got one shot, which is good, as I just as I just noticed, Tom explained. We want at least one book of two lore. Burn off that f funds there for the moment. In the meantime, take the nap in order to be able to get the health back quicker. All right, everybody, let's go. Okay, boom. Fascination trap up and running. Should be keeping better track of that. All right, unskilled labor brought us another one and two vitality, which means we can start working towards level three strength, which we are going to need, ironically. Although this is the lore heaviest one, it's also one, oddly enough, where, um, you're going to need as much health as you can get. In fact, you're going to need more health than you can get, which we'll explain as we'll go along. Influence. Now, deep breath. Do We don't have a health to put this back in, so we don't have the vitality up and running. And yeah, let's just keep going for a bit. All right. So, Glimmering, good, because we're about to watch this one burn. We've got to use this one this turn, or we're going to lose it. 
this case, we have the health pack, which is good, because I think I will just slip back into doing this. Like I said, in the previous run, it's pretty easy to start gaining things. All right, so that's six letters of necessity. Hopefully, we'll see what that is. It's forge lore. Now, the thing is, we're going to need lore like crazy, but put this up here for now. The thing is, I want to get it from expeditions, like I said, using the Evenal Express. The reason I'm doing this is because if I can get a level two lore, which is pretty easy to do at the bookstore, I can bring this up to four and bring up the next way, which means I can skip right to the next um, section and start getting to get lore. And I definitely need secret uh, uh, histories to get the expeditions. All right, so where are we headed? Okay, Rose, so I don't use my own health. Why don't you go out there? And now here's the question. Do we want to risk grabbing Mystique? Now, what we want to do is make sure, right, the cops aren't going to be what comes next. So let's talk about our esoteric matters. Because once we have the passion, once we have level one imagination, we can paint a reputation to be able to avoid the cops' attention if I'm quick enough. And let's see if I am, in fact, quick enough. Oops, uh, probably. I'll save us 10, 11 seconds. <laughs> All five cylinders running. All right. Good. Well, so-so. The, the club's not one to use for much except for the dancer. All right. So, yeah. Send her out. She doesn't get exhausted by doing this. Yes, it's always good to have a minion. Do-do-do-do-do-do. There's contentment. I do not need... Oh, I love the bomb maker. 5-3. Uh, with Rose, it makes... I desperately need an expedition. Okay, but yes, our priest is, you know, not preaching as much because he kind of realizes the whole thing's a farce. Okay, so... Finally. Get in and get some lore. Go for it. Entering the wood. And we're cutting down on cash, unfortunately. Okay, so yeah, but of course the, the great thing is is that they don't pay us to be their master. We gotta go out and do manual labor. Oh god, sometimes being a cult leader just isn't worth it. Do do do. Keep that exhortation going. All right, so we're gonna get a mentor first. Interesting. All right, passion up and running. There's another vitality. We can combine the vitality in a moment, but at the same time, let's see what we got. Study, let's get this book done. Cause, uh, well, I will do the Forbidden Book Tour at a later time. Um, in the meantime, I'm not going to do a lot of reading these uh, books detail because it's a lot of information. If you're not going to do it in an organized fashion, you're probably not going to have a lot of fun. Uh, okay, we're going to get a lot of get a lot out of it. No, nope, we decided not to hire. You do know all the best people. I got to admit that. Okay, so and boom. I'm the overlooked place. Okay. Boom. Level two. That's exactly what I need. I need to figure out where I'm going to go next. The passion card is down. Because we have to do to fatigue. Do I want to jump back in is the question. Because that will exhaust both of them. I probably... Well, if I just got the imagination card up and running, I think what I can possibly do is have the paint card ready to go when this reputation burns. So... Yeah. Okay. So... We'll go in. Wood and passion. We need to get that upgraded soon. Reason two. Alright. Strange means this soon might it's not enough, unfortunately, but what we want to do is immediately explore the secret places of the city. So we can get the expeditions we need to start the express. Contentment's up and running. I don't really need it at this point, but I'm glad to have it. Good to feel good. Some cash. Can't nap. Sounds will eat me. Oh, but I can do this. All right, keep going. Do that exercise. All right, so. Erudition and Smith Secret, which is level two. Again, since I as I explained before, I can simply take... Where is that lore? Ah, it's right here. Yeah, we got Mystique up and running and Poppy. Not my favorite person to start with. Don't need to we'll keep her for the moment. She's useful to making that six point um, uh, lore if I need to, but the erudition means that I immediately have to go to get this reason done so I can get level one. Uh, level one scholarship. Okay, we've got this up and running, hopefully. Yep, we don't, we're going to be sick soon, but I've got enough vitality for that. Oh my god, I am multitasking like crazy. 
Okay, so these two together will merge to level four, which gets to the next level of the Mansis. And again, as you notice how quickly I'm trying to move here. Okay, we'll move this here, move that here. You stay there. Position here, go. Breathe. Anyways, we should probably, since we're gonna have to wait on this anyways, see what we can get for our companions. Because we can hold two um, reputation cards if necessary while waiting for that one to burn out. Now, at the beginning here, until I get the next level of imagination, I probably should have more than two reputation cards running. Blessing the brain is not required. Vitality. Alright, because I just need, had a need for it. Yeah, you'll burn off shortly. Yeah, that's a lot of vitality. Or should I say Spice St. Agnes? There's that's a lot of vitality. Speaking of St. Agnes, not the expedition I was working here, looking for. We can deal with that later. It can be useful. All right, so next. Reputation cards as not yet to burn, so we can't yet do another one. Um, that, so breathe. So the wood and passion flourish. Yeah, let's keep going. Still need more secret lore. Secret history lore. It's all secret lore, technically. Uh, we're going to have Course of the Heart. I'm just going to let us um, do that. And we have more vitality than we know to do it, so I'll be able to get to level... Ooh. Yes, in the beginning here, the, ru the initial rush can be quite fast. All right, it's when it comes to this sort of thing. And basically, I've got to get up to a certain point before I can start feeling secure in my place in the world. Okay, continue. And are we dealing with cops yet? Nope, but we'll have restlessness, which means I'll need a passion. Right, so let's take this and that and get our level one scholarship running. Breathe. Okay. Okay, so, ooh, yeah, we got a problem here. 33 seconds, just gotta remember to put that in when I have the opportunity. You know what? I got nothing better to do. Let's just touch the church and go through the motions. Yeah, nothing better to do except my job. <laughs> Doesn't that define so many people's lives? Anyways, yeah, you notice I got five vitality rolling here. That's how quick you can get this stuff. All right, so let's see what we can do to move that along. Those probably, since you're idle for the moment, let's get you looking for stuff. All right, put the passion card in so you don't fail. We will random that. After that, you'll have to put in the affliction card. Oh, good. Hmm. No. There you go. Kind of a pointless that, but it's not going to be a toxic one, which is what I kind of like about those runs. Is that vitality? up quickly. We'll cure that in no time. Now one of the things that's interesting is that we're not actually using their health to the regular health to cure these things. We're actually using the mystical energy of vitality that we generate through actions. It's kind of like the same way, there we go, level one scholarship. Kind of like the same way that you get that sort of high when you're running and it's kind of like, now, now imagine you could bottle that energy, hold it for uh, any other use. That's exactly what we're doing with the vitality. Not everybody gets the ability to hold the metaphysical emotional energy for their use, but us being the potential, um, how do I put this, the potential um, mystics that we are, give me a second here, might have been running the, yeah, I've noticed I'm running the desktop auto a little higher than I usually do. I do apologize, it's been harder to hear, to hear me. That That's hopefully better. Any anyway, case, so yeah, at this point we have to decide where we're going here, and that's probably going to be using up these vitality before they burn, getting us to level two. Or, okay, because we've already got the ability to get to level two with what we have here, and hopefully, yep, there we go. Now, we have Violet. Now, let's see, we've got another Mystique. We do not want to go any higher. We don't. We'll have the cops next, which means the moment they start activating, I need to have this open. Ooh, we got an issue here. Well, I'll use the restlessness as a um, inspiration, which will keep it hidden for the moment and freeze it in place, which is probably the best I can do right now. But we're going to have to wait until we get the cop in place. In the meantime, we can initiate you. Or we could, if I was used up one vitality. Hmm. Gonna have to say no for that moment. See, yeah, we don't have... If I had an extra vitality, I would do so, but I need that second one in order to be able to get to that 
Although, if you come down to it, probably I'll be able to... Yep, notice the vitality is going to... I'll be able to get a second vitality before the, the this one burns out. Hang on. There we go. Yes, let me use... See, basically, like I said, we... Oh, I should have used the restlessness. Ah, silly me, it's got heart in it. Like I said, it's been a month. Still a little groggy in some of this. You can use this to initiate so many cults. Heart, Grail, Forge, Lantern, and Moth. All right. Hit it. I was more concentrating on dealing with a cop. Yeah, the police will mess you up every time. Okay, boom. The ceremony is as resonant as thunder in a church. I know it well. I wrote it myself. Okay, so yes, we now initiated Violet from our old cult to assist us. Now, whew, what should we do next? Probably we cannot get another um, reputation card, so we can't go looking for anybody else. And we're going to have to deal with that restlessness in just a moment. So, here we go. All right, so... Right now, it's at the wrong type of attention. We have 2.4 seconds before it starts looking for reputation cards. So, we grab this, we put these into the paint. Hopefully, it'll give us the 30 seconds we need, and we'll toss in restlessness in an attempt to prevent, yeah, the dread trap from kind of hitting. Okay, so Rose did not find anyone that I like. Violet, once you see a better luck. All right, health card is back. We're gonna need to get a moment. Yep, exercise the body, we'll be fine. We'll have that in no time. In the meantime, I can use the passion card here to re-enter the wood. And we keep going for that. All right. Vitality, that's a two point, by the way. Heart, influence, which we could use later to help advance some of our, uh, some of our believers into disciples. In the meantime, we've got 60 seconds to use that Vitality card, so we immediately move into the fresh air, getting another one. Okay. All right, recent cards back up. Violet found the Auction House, which is critical. Thank you, Violet. You're doing well. Do so again. And let's see. Yep. Right, you notice that we have the Curious Few. It's looking for our Reputation cards, which we've currently hidden for the next 19 seconds, so we're good. And we're not going to put any colors into this. All right. Do I need a hireling? Because I know I... God, you people are really good at finding people that I need five, ten minutes later. All right, so... Contentment. Boom. Which I could also use to initiate, if I had anyone to do so. And if this turns into dread... on us, which is going to, unfortunately... Yep, good day. Sorry, just monitoring everything in the beginning is vital because otherwise you're going to burn out fast. All right. So we actually managed to get Vunce, which is cool, and three Glimmering. Ooh, we are set to dance. Okay, all I need to do is get another Glimmering. And the Mystique is unfortunately at four. <laughs> Gods. All right, desperately needs people to take this away from me because next time I won't be able to do much unless, of course, I get the Passion card up and running, which hopefully I'll be able to do. Ooh could do is simply go for the rest of the glimmering hit it go wait did the rest where's the restlessness guard i didn't actually burn it off did i oh i did that's awesome i was hoping to be able to get it that time all right dreads up and running but we already mentioned to keep that all right so boom oh, the vitality i will take Mantis I'll cover in a lore episode, by the way. I'm assuming you got, you've already shown you, get you in the comments that you, so there is interest in me doing lore, and that's, like I said, why I'm starting the first one at the 550 mark, which is, at the time recording, 35 people or subscribers away. All right, we've got another Vitality card. We can't really expect... I mean, it's good when you have more than you need, but sometimes you just can't expect it. Yeah, we'll be okay here. They just got those. Ugh, breathe. And we cannot run into the woods yet, but once we get the glimmering up, we'll be able to combine the lore and be able to do so. Boom, go out again, Violet, since I can send you out endlessly, and I will be taking advantage of that fact. Oh, contentment. I'll work with that. Okay, so, yeah. We're going to try. There's another restlessness, which means I'm going to need to be able to paint it, which gives me a moment. 
I'll be able to do so and hopefully get that bloody glimmering I'm wanting. Go. Okay, now there's one thing about the priest card. You notice that we're missing a card here? We usually have one that's usually grabbed during this restlessness period. That is, of course, because it is not our ambition. The ambition cards, the ones that usually generate restlessness, you do not get as the priest because it is not your desire to become a cult leader. The cult wanted you to become their leader. It's really kind of strange, but I mean, you have no desire to become a god, yet all these people are trying to peer pressure you into becoming a god. Level two strength upcoming. Uh, we still should be fine here because I'll combine these two and hope that we might lose one, but we'll be okay. And where's the restlessness? All right, cool. Paint that away. The beginning. Okay, breathe. <laughs> always something in this game. It's always a crisis you're really having to manage. Alright, so. Violet didn't find anything this time, which means it's Rose's turn to go out and find things. Now we probably want to grab into the way, because I desperately want to... Uh, get that. Alright, go. Probably wasn't the most efficient way of doing that. But, sometimes you've just got to go with your gut rather than your reason. That's why there's both the passion and a reason card. Okay, we've pretty much gotten everything we're going to do if we start pulling these out more often. I'll go over that and so if I do when I do the um, World Tour one, what it actually means, the strange streets by moonlight. But it's actually a dimensional overlap, short term of it. Now, again, we desperately need... All right, Restlessness is blown away, back into Contentment, which is fine. Not great, but fine. Free health on you, Restlessness again. But I actually foolishly used my Passion card. All right, 59, and yeah, we're not going to be able to take care of that one before it becomes Dread. But we'll be able to combine it with the Contentment at that point, I hope. 58 seconds, 50, 0.4 seconds is not enough of an edge. To be able to do this, in the meantime, we'll just do our day job. Alright, and these two, so we don't lose at least some of what we accomplished there. Breathe. Okay. I don't... I, I love games that challenge me like this, but sometimes I can get in over my head. Alright, so... No lore. But we do have a Type 4, which is good, because we'll immediately turn that into an Expedition. Although I really want the level two ones. <laughs> Not quick enough on that, unfortunately. So, which means that what? Uh, we don't have a problem with that. Dread is. I'll ho hold the dread unless. Hopefully, I will see the tra trap coming. Money. Yeah, we're low on money. I've kind of not been paying attention to that. That's not a good sign. <laughs> All right, so yeah, let's exercise our passion and get that level two uh, going, so we can don't we can don't have to worry too much about the that the um, reputation cards. The cops not coming, so we burn off that one. So I guess we're okay. We might get some exaltation running, which is a second dread, which is never good to have. Okay, now let's see what we can do next. God, we're down to one fund. Yeah, we need to start paying attention to our actual jobs. Getting too caught up in some of this stuff. Breathe, but yes. Ah. Like I said before, oh, we've got more Mystique going. Oh, that's not good. Reputation's going to slow us down a lot. Kick with Scratch is actually interesting in a couple of ways. Not sure it's one we want to run right now, though. Where's the other one out? St. Agnes. So... Passion's back up and running, but we're gonna hit, unfortunately. Point. Alright, that. Ooh, we're actually low on We'll have the uh, vitality gear to that in a moment. That means I can't dive into the Mansus as a result, which is unfortunate. Alright. You go there. You go there. Or as a, you know. <laughs> Or as a priest, a good priest. Bad priests make a lot of money. Okay, so since we know that we're not going to have 
these two are going to burn off. But let us risk finding another another uh, follower, companion, cultist, congregation. Recruit another congregation member, however you want to put it. All right, so the ring's up and running. We need one more. There we go to get that third card. Should make things slightly easier. Plus, of course, we have to remember we have to go to work. Combination of the unskilled labor and the ability to recruit, I mean, to uh, use a vitality to recruit cult members is a good combination. We'll keep my head above water in the beginning here. There is a particular thing about, oh, gods, here we go. Trying to break me with the dread here. That was paint that away, I guess. Now, X going is dread. Of course it's dread. 74 seconds to get rid of it. What are we going to do? Hmm. A couple of options here. The most logical one would be to, since we're going to get rid of the dread, is to is to grab a contentment card getting drunk, but we're low on those at the moment, like funds at the moment, which is not going to let us do that. The second is to hide it using um, painting, which is an option, but we have to use a re we have to use get rid of restlessness too, and that's going to be. May just want to take it and eventually build up our funds to be able to to uh, get the contentment card. Or just use the contentment card to land it in my lap. That's always good, too. We'll use that to get rid of the dread. Alright. So. Oh, good. We got another follower. The health is back. And to combine dread with our contentment. Good timing on that one. Can't count on it every time, though. Vitality is up and running. Health is fatigued. Now, we've got this other vitality coming. We're going to... Hmm, passion card, unfortunately, is out of play, which means... We're in a bit of trouble. Less. Yes, there we go. What we're going to do is use our vitality. This is going to be bad in that it keeps the Mystique going, but we will use up the Restlessness without having to use any of our Passion, which is another thing you can do with the uh, Drip card like this. Okay. Another Glimmering, which means we can finally get the level 2 Imagination. Alright. So, and we're moving forward. Okay, finally. Finally, we've got a higher than we can use here. Yeah, the Bomb Maker, by the way, while it is a 5 forge that works mostly, it is, on the other hand, also an Edge 3, which combined with Rose's Edge 2 will give me the freaking 5. Uh, that is. So, we will hire a Bomb Maker in Ireland. You can draw your own conclusions in 1920s who that is, but I've got a pretty good idea. Anyways, alright, even more of this. Yeah, it just keeps coming. Yeah, you'll be eating my Mystique. I don't really have a problem with that. In any case... While that is going on, we'll just keep the we'll just keep the uh, vitality drain rolling. Come on, hire the guy. Hire the guy. All right, initiated Neville, by the way, with the power of my restlessness. But we will, of course, since I don't really fear the cop being there, continue to talk about esoteric matters and religious studies. Of course, we're doing Bible study of the Necronomicon. Finally, we got level two reason, which is good. Finally, I can also do this combo, get myself a level four. I uh, need an erudition for that. Oh, gods, I'm an idiot. Never mind. Sigh. Well, we'll just fail that. Like I said, it's been four weeks, so I kind of lost some of my uh, brain power, apparently. What to do? We can take the Bomb Maker and Rose, because the primary deal with this, this guy's residence is a collector of rare objects, but it may not sell his treasures, but a cunning accomplice, or we could gain entry, because the Watchers is going to be the first and primary issue here. You know, it's going to take all of our funds to do this. But um, there will be other issues as well, and there it goes. But we immediately replace that fund. Basically, we're, our law of crime is being paid for by unskilled labor. I really, it's weird, but we can work with this. Anyways, why we're waiting for things to recover, let's just have a, uh, ooh, we might get notoriety from this and he's up and running. So let's not do that. Okay, so now we can, however, still do this in an attempt to keep us from starving to death, which is always a good thing. All right. Let's see what we got here. Another, another companion, which is good. All right, take care yeah, of the vitality. I'm just not bothering stacking at this point. Exhibition continues. We will need a minion to continue. 
Uh, and we will give them our one minion, of course. And yeah, that's the thing. I did have library. I'm so used to having library as my location that I completely forgot I had to get erudition, erudi erudition before doing so. Well, we'll get that together in, in the next line. Cult's ground. Good. We can go that later. Let's see what we got here. The fund. Hey, keeping our head above water. Go and go. And yeah. Look, actually, we'll just go with the nap. Don't want to lose all of our fatigue at the same time. Alright, so what's this? Strength is considerable. The Watchers aren't ready for us. We should be able to bring them down. Alright, go for it, guys. I'm cheering for you. Yeah, we're just barely making bank here. Who do we have with us today? Another hanger on. Good, I could use a minion. I definitely have the vitality is to uh, initiate you with. Again, one of the major advantages of heart cult. You can get in real fast. Scrap for the truth. Word of truth. Eh, well, let's keep going. All right. So, did we brew it? Yes. The blood pumps bright in the dark. Yes. We have killed them all. And we're going to take all of this stuff. Yeah. This is kind of showing that we've not really the kind of priest that you want to invite for dinner. You know, not unless you're a certain type of person who wants to talk about how we can open holes in reality and let things through. Then he's probably perfect for that. Do, do. Keeping the keeping the heart pumping and the cult, the cult are growing. And we have our pawn. Our no, next disposable minion. And we're going to talk more about... Uh, <laughs> have you heard the good word about Our Lady, St. Agnes of the Scales? Now there's a Jehovah's Witness knock that would be interesting. We have a Lovecraftian cult. Do you want to join us? I know at least half of you listening to me would say yes, but you know, you really need to not say yes to the first cult that tries to recruit you. You gotta be picky about these things. Find out what the benefits are. I mean, if you're a Warhammer fan, I mean, Slanesh, as far as I'm concerned, has major advantages of the other three cults. At least you're having a good time. Um... Oh, I've already done the white cult. All right, so the occult scrap goes there. Another restlessness, so we'll deal with it. Maybe we can initiate somebody with it. Yep, it's treasures. Finally going to get that. Get a nap. And get back to work. Slowly building up her... Slowly keeping her head above water. Dread's going to be a pain in the butt, though. Interesting over to hand. Finally, I can combine these two to get my level 4 knock that I will need in order to be able to reach the next section. Now, the uh, level... F to get the next section of the mansus up and running. Oosh. Oh, not, gonna have, not gonna be able to use that. Unfortunate. Okay, so out into the night, we escape unseen, but the next day there are reports of a fire. Do you knock over... Oh, again, we'll take care of that Lord on the tour, but this is the big thing. We have a... The reason why Strackholm's residence... Strackholm... Reticon's S's residence is the first place that we stop is the fact that we have and hopefully yeah is the fact that we have these books. This one's going to be a level four um secret lore, but we can combine that with level 40 level six, which is important for later. This one's going to be a forge, but the most important ones are the locksmith dream stolen reflections, which is gonna give us level six in two different um uh in two different um lores, which is desperately what we need in order to be able to unlock what we're going to need for the, the for the uh, priest, which is the mentor, as I like to say it, with the um, uh, uh, brain freezing up. The patron gravy train, which we can get all the patrons. If we have level six in our lore, we can just get the patrons to start sending us money for ma magazine articles that we make for it. We do not have to worry about cash at that point, but we will get there. In the meantime, I'll probably burn some up, burn some time in between the epi this episode and the next episode, because this is running ring along, even with the cuts, that I will bring up the, I will burn through these books, and then before we get on to the next expedition of the Evening Owl Express, which is going to probably be the church, so we can get some of the language ones, I'll keep building up the cult, 
and I will be going through a couple other things like dealing with that notoriety. I don't have the ability to get rid of it yet, but I can still hide it with the freaking, um, with the uh, painting, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing. Anyways, this is Fantastic World saying farewell from Lovecraft Country. And of course, as I noted before, we've reached the 500 mark. So we have not only unlocked this one at 400, 450 was the Ghoul DLC. 500 was the first Exile run, which is going to be the Obscurity run in attempt to escape our pursuers rather than to ascend um, our uh, by um, challenging our pursuer to the Eternal Duel. After that, well, I'm going to have a um, episode pretty uh, episode a channel update coming up for the 500 which i have a uh, going to be a little virtual cake and uh, celebration for which i will go over in detail how the channel will continue forward and all of the different uh fights because currently i've got four series going right now i need to nail down how it's going to work and how the vote is going to work when we come down to it as you may or may not know every single um subscriber gets one vote in determining which of the next um, series I'm going to go through. I've been going through the first episode of, a, of the series I am contemplating for the channel to run after Lust From Beyond, which is the next one on the schedule, and um, and through the Let's Try series, which if I remember, I'll put a link up there. And if you check those out, you can tell you can decide which one of them that you like from what you see that you want me to uh, do in the future. Now, if you're the, in doing it on my Twitch side, which... Uh, probably isn't very many of you i only have 33 followers there at the moment just to let you know when we hit 50 followers over here we will i will be doing what i i will be doing a what i like to call the um mar the halved marathon thing i will be a two hour block at two different points in the same day because i realize i have fans across the globe at this point which is awesome hi guys from the be um, from the united uh um uh former nation of america um that uh i will be doing what and i will be doing two hours of a particular series now which one it is again will be voted on only by the twitch people and if you are by the way a initiate or cultist level supporter on gun road you will get one or two additional votes depending on which level you are one vote for the initiate two vote for the cultist and of course as always there's additional um material for both levels and early access at the at the uh, cultist section in any case this is probably gone long enough for the self-promotion part of things so i bid you good evening and have a good day